cigarette lighter USB adapter. Let's see what we get in the box. To test the device I went outside because of course I don't have a 12 volt socket at home. So I had to do it in my car and I was really interested in how many volts and how many watts can we get um, out of this device and amps of course. And to check it out I used my old Mooker multimeter. You can uh, check the link here to watch the review of this device. Quite good for the price, I got it a couple of years ago, handy. And I'm gonna use my new X-Star 18650 charger because it takes 4.1 amps for each cell, so in total it takes around 35 watts through a regular USB cable. Well, regular, the uh, PG2 USB cable, as far as I remember. So it should drive lots of current and we'll stress test this device. We'll see how much can we get out of it, and then we'll make a verdict whether it's good or not and it's worth this two or three euros that I paid for it. Actually it belongs to a friend of mine and I'm going to give it to him tomorrow. And it's in my home for about a month so I was a bit late with the review. But it is um, a good idea if you have a car that is quite old like my own. I have a 20 year old car and I don't have USB sockets in it. So that's, that's a handy solution. So let's go outside. Cut! test the device I went outside and here it is we just have to open the buggy and just give me one second okay I'll be back in a sec put the device out from the buggy but there's a bit of film on it so give me one more second I will get rid of the film and we'll plug it in and we'll see is it going to give us five amps hmm I'm wondering how the device look like uh, we've got all the data on the side of it let's plug it in there should be two usbs let's see how strong they are to test this device i will use the device from the previous one of my previous episodes my uh, new extra charger that uses loads of current while charging the batteries at 4 amps and if it's still at 4 amps it mean it will mean that uh, this very device is actually providing as much as it should be and look at this we are just getting 2 amps per cell but that's not bad anyway what happens if we get rid of one of them okay it is charging one cell at 4.1 amps if we and I'm just wondering what happens if we start the engine. Let's see. Let's get the second cell in. Tadam tadam, just two amps. Okay, but that's not bad anyways. I'm quite happy with this USB plug. I thought that it wouldn't deliver as much as as they said, but it is. So oh, one second. Okay, it is time to use my Mooker multimeter and my bright new Xstar ST2 charger to check the readings. These are the readings: 9 volts and almost 2.5 amps. So what does the charger say? Well, my Xstar fast charger says it can charge two cells at only 2 amps each, so the plug does not provide PG2 current, but most probably something similar to Qualcomm 3.0. But to be honest, I am happy with the readings. It is highly possible that if two USBs are plugged in, they would get just half of the power, but I did not have another device taking so much current to check it out. Anyways, I am happy with the readings, as they clearly show that two mobile phones can be charged at 2 amps each, and that is quick enough for me. So you've been outside with me, we checked the device, it gives, I don't remember the readings, but um, let's uh, have them on the screen now. Um, and I think that we are getting 12 volts, but I'm not really sure about the, these two amps at 12 volts. But anyways, it was able to charge the 18650s at 2 amps instead of 4. That's still good. And I'm really happy with this device. It does not belong to me, it belongs to a friend of mine. I ordered it maybe a month ago and he's still waiting for it, so he's a bit angry about that. 
But anyways, that's it for today. Time to cut! Ah, get one of them and you have two USB sockets inside so you can charge your phone. And what else? There's loads of stuff that is being charged from USB ports. Variant. I will ask you to watch some other of my videos where one is here, one is here, one is here. And remember about clicking my face to subscribe here. It's very important for me. Bye bye!